All the students at Frisco were born sometime in the 90s. We all remember shows like All That, Rugrats, The Amanda Show, Boy Meets World, and Full House. We walked around the campus and asked students what their favorite 90s TV show or cartoon is. What's your favorite 90s TV show? Cat and Dog. Full House. What's your favorite 90s TV show? Full House. Definitely the Powerpuff Girls. Boy Meets World. Uh, that's a Raven and Kim Possible. Friends. Monday Night Football. The Amanda Show. What's your favorite 90s TV show? Friends. So even though we are growing up, you can still kick back and watch a 90s TV show to remind you of the old days. For ICC TV, I'm Andrea Rogers. Knock, knock. Who's there? Microphone. Microphone who? I'm going to hit you upside the head with a microphone. What's unique to high school is that there is always some sport going on. Now that the fall sports are winding down, we are getting ready for the spring. Everyone we spoke to is fired up for this upcoming season. Um, I'm excited about waking up at 6 a.m. every morning and running with my boys. I'm excited about getting back in and riding my pole vaulting pole. How have you prepared for the season? I ran cross country this year and have been doing coach riders workouts since the beginning of this past summer. What are you looking forward to this season? I'm looking forward to just a good season, beating my times from last year, and finishing it hard. <laughs> um, we're looking forward to districts and to prepare. We've been working on our short game, putting, chipping, bump and runs, everything like that. And we're looking forward to hopefully getting all the way to state this year. I'm looking forward to beating Wakeland and hopefully pulling for a district championship. Uh, what have you done to prepare for that? We've been doing lots of running, playing lots of soccer, and just kind of getting pumped for the season. Um, I'm looking forward to having a really good season and making it in the playoffs. And how have you prepared the season? We've been practicing really hard and been lifting weights and running, so hopefully we'll be able to be in good shape. Um, Coach Cooks incorporated a great new off-season workout system. We've been doing a lot of conditioning, a lot of P90X to get our bodies in shape and prepared for this spring. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, playing with the guys, you know, um, winning a bunch of games, and just being uh, one team. And yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to going deep in playoffs this year. I'm looking forward to playing doubles with my best friend Claire. And how have y'all prepared? Um, we've been doing a lot of running and lifting weights to get in shape for the season. I'm looking forward to making it out of districts, possibly regionals, and maybe state. I've been going hard in the gym, running fast, getting that 50-yard run in, and uh, working hard, pretty hard. It looks like we're in for an exciting spring. Everyone is looking forward to getting back on the track, the field, or on the court. Be sure to come out and support our Raccoons this spring. For RACC TV, I'm Biebs. Bullying has always been around, but since it has also moved into cyberspace, it is beginning to receive additional attention. Bullying affects everyone, directly or indirectly. If we have never been bullied, most of us seem to know someone who has. What percentage of teens do you think are bullied each year? I would say about 50%. I'm going to say roughly around 97, because you know, it happens a lot, and sometimes it just you can't control it. So I'm going to say mostly most of the people in this world. Um, probably like, probably a fairly big amount, like 45 to 50 percent. Uh, 10. I'm going to say uh, 80 percent. According to recent studies, around 35 percent of teens report being bullied each year. Is that a problem that is here to stay? A great way to prevent bullying is to not be a bystander. Um, to your best of your ability, um, when you're capable, don't stand by and watch someone being bullied. Uh, sometimes you can step up and say maybe that's not right and it may deter a bullier to continue bullying someone as well as to, uh, make the effort of making sure that you report it. Report it to an administrator, report it to a staff member um, as best you can so then that way we can make sure we're helping the victims that are being bullied. Bullying doesn't just occur in the schoolyard. All types of bullying can be dangerous. Um, because there's so many different types of forms of bullying um, with emotional, social, sometimes sexual, um, and even physical that sometimes they overlap. A lot of times a physical uh, form of bullying can become emotional. Um, some that are sexual obviously can become social or emotional as well. So with that there, um, I would say all forms of bullying are dangerous or can be dangerous. 
FHS has launched an anonymous text hotline where you can report bullying or suspicious behavior. Please everyone take out your cell phones now and save this number, 469-777-6468. This will be known as the FHS hotline. We will give you a few moments to save the number. The purpose of the hotline is to give students a way to report bullying or anything else they feel they need to report without the fear of retaliation. We find that with students and with um, their parents, one of the main questions we get is, is anyone going to find out that we've talked to you because they're afraid of retaliation? So this is a safe way for students to report something that they want an assistant principal to know um, without having to come in and talk to us. If you are being bullied or have seen it going on, you can always use the hotline or speak with any of the APs or teachers. Let's watch out for each other. For RACC TV, I'm Jessica Jockman. Tonight is a big night for the basketball team. They're playing the Prosper Eagles at Prosper High School at 8 p.m. With a 3-1 record and a district championship in sight, the Raccoons need fans to come out and support to help them win. Do you have a message for the fans? Just stay loud in the stands, give us that extra energy, and we'll give you a show. Check us out on Tuesday when we play the Weakland Wolverines. Do you have a message for the fans? Yeah, come out and support us because we get energy on defense when y'all come out. Yeah, we could really use y'all's support. The energy y'all bring really can change the game and it can make a difference. If you can't make it tonight, make sure that you clear your schedule for next Tuesday, January 15th, as they travel to Wakeland High School for a rivalry showdown. With RACC TV, I'm Elijah Valtierra. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the weekend weather watch. As you can see, the concrete reinforced palm trees have been installed in the back of the school. We're just waiting for the leaves to arrive. Why reinforce palm trees with cement, you might ask? Because 98% of all hurricanes happen in places with palm trees, and it would be awful if the palm trees fell on people's cars. Don't let this sunny weather fool you. Let's enjoy it while we can, because winter is on its way back. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 69 and a low of 53. Saturday, the nippy wet weather returns with a high of 55 and a low of 34. But don't worry, there will be no valid reason to get out of bed. Sunday will be even colder with a high of 43 and a low of 27. Make sure you bring your pets in or they will, might freeze like the mascot in the trophy case. Or this poor creature. For RACC TV, I'm Flores Jackson. Remember, nobody loves you like I do.